Welcome back. As many have eyes on the war in Ukraine, some lawmakers in Washington are worried about another potential takeover. The tensions between China and Taiwan have been brewing for many years, and some are worried they will soon rise to the surface. Fox 44's Allison Fox O'Connor joins us in the studio after speaking with professors about whether this could happen and how it would affect us. Allison, what did you learn? Well, MG, the tensions between the two countries have been brewing for almost 100 years, but now many are concerned that with the Russia-Ukraine war, China could take matters into its own hands, and it would affect all of us at the economic level. And so the question is, at what point might China uh, try to have an amphibious uh, invasion of Taiwan? That is what Texas A&M Central Texas professor Jerry Jones said while speaking about the history of China and Taiwan. The two countries have had tensions for many years and some lawmakers are becoming concerned that with the war in Ukraine, China may take the advantage to invade Taiwan. Dr. Jones says this is a possibility. If the West is thoroughly distracted by a very dangerous war in Europe, might that give the Chinese an opening to take Taiwan? He says there is a caveat to this plan, as the world has seen Russia lose soldiers and weapons to a much smaller country, and there would be parallels to the war playing out now in Europe. Now the question is, how would a Chinese invasion in Taiwan affect the United States? Taiwan produces 92% of the most sophisticated semiconductors in the world. Dr. Robert Tennant is an economic professor at the university who says if there was a takeover of Taiwan, it would create a massive supply chain issue due to the manufacturing of those semiconductors. We see it with um, our supply chains, whether it be fuel, whether it be p people trying to get baby formula for their kids. So now imagine that for every last piece of technology. Dr. Tennant recommended that although we are unsure of what will come from the rising tensions in the Pacific, that consumers should be proactive in case a conflict arises and we begin to see a shortage in items with semiconductors. If it's time to update your phone, you might want to consider doing it as opposed to waiting another six months or a year. Again, normal things that you would be doing, but you may be slightly procrastinating on. Now, Dr. Tennant did say that more companies in the United States are beginning to build and create semiconductors for products, but are not at the level to maintain the supply and demand if Taiwan stops produce, uh, production due to a conflict. In the studio, I'm Allison Fox O'Connor, Fox 44 News.